the heck is going on? Why is the sky purple? It is currently 8.38 p.m. We got this. Look, elsewhere. Uh, what the heck is going on? Why is the sky purple? It is currently 8.38 p.m. We got this. Look, elsewhere. Purple rain. Almost as if like Prince, shut up phone. Almost as if Prince was doing a concert up in heaven, like purple rain. Yeah, but um, why is this guy driving towards it though? If it was me, I'd be turning that car around so quick. What is up, what is up my good people? Welcome back for a brand new video. I really hope you all are doing all right out there tonight. Look, I got another one for you guys. Really hope you enjoy this one. As usual, we're gonna be watching some of the most bizarre and creepiest TikToks I could find today. So without further ado, let's get right back into it. We are sharing the planet with a species that's possibly as far in advance of us as we are as from chimpanzees. Uh, in certain areas of, of development, not necessarily everything. We obviously have some, some things that the that the alleged uh, crypto terrestrials or CTs, as I refer to them for brevity, um, don't have, like a, a global infrastructure. Um, I think it seems likely to me that the that the that the CTs utilize imagery that we associate with extrasolar aliens uh, to disguise their presence, to kind of mask where they're coming from, and to throw us off the scent. Uh, I think one thing that this uh, this secret civilization among us uh, has going for it is a very prolonged uh, maintained and very well cultivated sense of stealth i think that they thrive on secrecy i think that's a big asset i think they're flesh and blood i think a lot of them could possibly pass for human and uh, i think that they they share the planet with us and uh, i think they're nomadic and it, it seems to me that they are uh here to stay in the sense that they've been here a long time. If you look at folklore, we find recurring references to them um, in different in different uh, disguises. But then again, that seems to be kind of the hallmark of the whole thing. I think that UFOs are their latest disguise because we automatically associate that with, with aliens from other planets. And there's nothing there's nothing inherently unsound about the extraterrestrial hypothesis, and it's not mutually incompatible with the crypto terrestrial idea. The cloaked UFOs have been showing up everywhere. I mean, if you haven't been seeing them by now, I don't know where you've been. We've got these also with the little rainbow over here, which if you guys have seen this zoomed out, you know that it looks a little bit like this. And I always call it God's eye. It's like the ring around the eye, the ring around the sun. And then look at this line in the middle. It's casting a shadow. Now, if we weren't in a holographic dome of some kind, I don't understand why there would be a shadow and a ring around the sun. You know, if the sun is supposed to be however far it's supposed to be, everybody makes fun of me because I say the sun's not real. I really do believe we are living in a simulation on Mars. Yes, I think we're a government CIA alien experiment, and I think that none of this is real, and this is just a hologram, so sue me. We've also got the moon looking like the sun, huge, ginormous, looks like it's about to land on us. Here is another clearly cloaked UFO in the skies. Another one of the little rainbows, which I like to call them angels. They just, they look like angels, just like floating in the sky. And this one is undeniable. As you guys know, I hope you know by now, the aliens, the Galactic Federation, has given the government a deadline of when they must disclose the fact that they're here and they're here to help us and everything. And if they don't, the aliens will just end up showing up because the government isn't doing their job. So this is just a little bit more of disclosure. They're showing up everywhere. All the signs are in the sky. So make sure you're looking up or down because you may just see some crop circles from the sky. This was taken in Montana. Um, and as you can see, these are all a bunch of crop circles in the middle of nowhere. Now, this circle shape was in my dreams the other day, and then I saw this video. I'm shooketh. <laughs> this is amazing. And here's another good one. Now, there's a couple things going on here. You can see there's a little shooting UFO right there. 
which looked like a shooting star, but I also like the double layers here. This is definitely a UFO right there flying by. Yeah, I feel like she just got done watching that movie Nope. If you guys have ever seen that, then yeah, you know what I'm talking about with like the clouds being alien ships. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say that there aren't aliens that are cloaking themselves as clouds out there, but yeah, I feel like most of these that she put up in the videos were just clouds, honestly. Yeah, why am I just now finding out that the Russians have suits to make them immune to explosives? Yeah, you heard it right. Walking through explosions unharmed. Warning, this video is made by trained professionals. Please do not try this at home. Just, just watch. Walking through explosions unharmed. Did y'all see that? Most people armed would have been flying off from that. Another one. Walking through the flame, unharmed. And the crazy part is, this video was shot six years ago. They were so confident in the suit, they let a woman experiment in it. What we just witnessed was a real life Call of Duty perk, Blast Shield. Yeah, World War Three is gonna be different, different. Just imagine you shoot a grenade launcher or a rocket launcher at somebody, and they still coming at you. What you gonna do? At Technology so advanced nowadays that people are walking around with the GTA San Andreas Invincibility Chico activated. You know, I feel like this suit can definitely take some flames, but you know, a rocket launcher to the chest, I would like to see that. But at this point, don't like the governments have like real life Iron Man suits. Did you guys know before the 1900s, it was no such thing as aliens? The alien agenda was created by Aleister Crowley and your government. Aleister Crowley was obsessed with our ancient rituals and our culture. This is why we have the pyramid on his head. Out of all of your non-melanated people, Aleister Crowley will reach the highest level of consciousness. He was able to go in our mystery schools and study our mystery because he had the black dot. Aleister Crowley was a mulatto. His mother line was royalty. So we let him in to learn our secrets. Aleister Crowley would begin to start speaking to our ancestors in different realms, and people would think he was talking to demons, but he actually wasn't. He would astral project and talk to these different beings. So in 1904, they told him to draw these people that he was communicating with, and these are the pictures that he drew. This was his first drawing on the right, and then later on in history, they would give the spirits big eyes. So Aleister Crowley was astral projecting and communicating with these spirits in the spiritual realm. And later on, your government will give us these spirits and tell us that they are aliens. And this is why I don't listen to anybody that pushes UFOlogy, especially the Anunnaki. I will be breaking that down in the future. The government will pick up the pictures that Aleister Crowley drew and broadcast them all over the world. They would then call them big headed aliens. And Bobby Hammett talks about how the original alien that he drew was actually a little darker and Aleister Crowley will lighten the complexion for the crowd of people he was talking to. But you guys must understand evolution. In ancient times, both hemispheres of our brain was activated and it made our heads bigger. These would be our ancestors who are trapped in other realms who can't get back here. Aleister Crowley was talking to these beings. They were teaching him how to ascend in life. So to wrap this up, the alien agenda is not real. It was something created in 1904. You are the aliens. You are the ones with these psychical powers and abilities. Be aware of what you put into your conscience. Peace and ashe. I'm not too much of a believer in this whole story, but like, who sits on the table like this? I mean, listen to a dummy. Aleister Crowley was just a devil worshiping man that just believed in a bunch of like weird crap. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, my mind is blown right now. A truck pulls up next to you carrying a big old cloud. Just imagine seeing that as you're driving through the city. I think of like the orphan trains, you know, back in the day with the 1900s. And with the orphan trains, they were doing a lot of what looked like cloning with children. And if you look back at the 1901 incubators. Coney I Island, the, I remember this now. Island. Yep. They, were, they had this stuff on where they had the incubators and they were showing all these children and they said they were all premature, which was interesting. Every single child was premature, but they had just thousands and thousands of these children. 
So, you know, you sit there and wonder, well, where were all these babies being born from? Where were they coming from? And then you kind of sit there and think back, well, 1901, they could have been cloning. And then now they're saying, you know, we can maybe finally do it. But this technology has been around for a very long time. I never even thought about that. And I did, we had covered, it was one of those uh, nights that I did a, a did you know, strange did you know section. And we were talking about all the incubator babies from Coney Island. Uh, they were pretty much on display. Like they, they were in, they were put in, uh, you know, street level windows. Uh, it was almost like going to a puppy mill. It was, it was incredible. And never once did cloning ever call, uh, cross my mind until right now. You know, I'm really starting to wonder how not so coincidental doppelgangers are. But hey, what if after all, we're just some clones ourselves? Like we're not even the original us. Now, how scary would that be? The treasures will pop out themselves. Have you ever heard of uranium glass? Well, apparently you can find glass that contains uranium in any normal, regular store or market. And this guy's going to teach you how to do so. This is crazy. And so we begin the hunt. This is super crazy. I want to know you guys, would you do this? Even though it contains uranium. This is my collection so far. Oh. It's beautiful. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure, but how much does uranium glass even go for these days? I mean, I think this guy does it to collect them for the lighting effect in his like little case. But at first I was like, man, there's no way this guy's about to sit here and make that much profit off uranium glass. They said there's a comet coming in April that might get rid of everyone on this planet. Should we panic or should we ignore it? But if so many people distracted with their new Apple vision, they don't see the truth no more. But people don't realize this technology make your eyes blurry so you can't see the truth of what's happening. We are in something called natural selection where nature is going to pick and choose who she want on this planet and who she's going to get rid of. We are at the end of this 5,000 year cycle. Yes, everything is a cycle in this universe. We only have 5,000 years to advance. So since we are not advancing, a group of ETs is going to send a comic on this planet to create new life forms. They always tell you the truth. Look at the language. Comet is come ET, an invitation for ETs. The governments on this planet have been trying for thousands of years to break this glass dome. They can't break it. The only thing that can break this glass dome is an asteroid or a comet because it's coming from a higher connection. They think once they build these bunkers, they're going to be protected because they built these bunkers thousands of years ago and some people survive, but not this time. We are all supposed to evolve spiritually on this planet. There should be no way artificial intelligence is smarter than us when we are the ones that created it or did artificial intelligence create us the dark secret they are keeping from the population is this these asteroids actually carry all kind of new life forms new life forms is coming on this planet so we can be replaced the mayan calendar tried to warn us they said 2012 the end of the world will be here 2012 passed and people say we're still here 2012 2020 2020 2012 it's the same thing. But people can't see because their vision is blurry. They can't understand what's going on because 2020 actually blinded everyone. People are scared to face real reality. So they're going to put these glasses on to try to escape reality. But 
there's no escaping, especially from your own karma. Yeah, at this point, I'm not going to sit here and worry my little self too much about an asteroid hitting Earth. I mean, if it happens, it happens, you know, because NASA's been predicting this stuff to happen like every year. It's nothing new now. This guy is definitely a little dramatic, though. I will say that. What are you going to do now? Well, my phone's gone. <laughs> Maybe if the gator left, I would get it. But even then. Maybe, like, there's, like, the walking stick. Maybe it's something with, like, a walking grabber. walking stick isn't long enough. Oh, it's, he's going to eat it. No, it's not. Yo, that crunch was on a whole nother level. Man, the guy should have listened to the girl, though. Like, she had the right idea with getting the stick. Ah, uh, I feel bad for the little guy. Like, that lithium battery is probably going to be the death of him, honestly. Do you know why people start looking different when they start following their human design? You'll start noticing that when you start following your human design, and I mean really following your strategy and your authority, you'll actually notice a physical difference in yourself. The reason why is because when people start following their strategy and their authority, they stop running into so much resistance in their physical reality. So if you're looking for some sort of anti-aging formula, follow your human design. Yeah, I thought she was about to go into like a hardcore metal song right there at the end. She said, you'll go to the other side. You'll go to the other side. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. But yeah, I feel like this is, uh, you know, true. When you align with your, your inner self, you're obviously going to start taking care of your body a little bit better, I feel like. Snoop Dogg and Master P are suing Walmart and Post Foods, alleging that the two companies sabotaged their Snoop cereal business. Master P, his real name is Percy Miller, holding a press conference today alongside attorney Benjamin Crump. Miller and Calvin Brodus, better known as Snoop Dogg, launched their cereal line last year, but the moguls say this undercover video shows how Walmart kept the cereal in stock rooms and off-store shelves in 20 states. They accuse Post Foods of using deceptive practices to prevent their success. What I'm fighting for today, I'm fighting for justice in corporate America because we're saying, corporate America, it's time to pack fair. I got my slingshot. I'm David. I'm going up against the Giants. Look at how they kept the cereal in the back of the stock rooms, not on the shelves. Crump says the contract Brodus Foods had with Post and Walmart required the businessmen to buy back any unsold cereal, Walmart responding the impending lawsuit saying, quote, we have a strong history of supporting entrepreneurs. Many factors affect the sales of any given product. Yeah, I never noticed Snoop Dogg had cereal. Like, I never seen it in any store. But then again, I stopped eating cereal like a while ago. Unless it's some, like, actual healthy cereal. There are a couple healthy cereals out there. No cap, we gotta circle back on this shit right now, you feel me? Hey, listen up, TikTok. Propaganda is at its all-time high, you feel me? This shit came out in 1999. 1990 or 1999, one of them drones. Let's, let's like review these cards real quick. Let's start off with this one. Now, I mean, y'all niggas tell me. This is the definition for charismatic, just in case y'all was like, what is that? The Pentagon drone that happened around 01. This shit that just, you feel me? These two spooked me the fuck out. But then we got this drone. If you couldn't see it, it was this shit. I, that reminded me about this shit. And then you peep the Switzerland car with the clock. Messing with our timelines. CERN. Duh. The other one that stood out. We already know. And they had the Hawaii car. All the flames and people. You feel me? And this shit. Let me circle back to this one one more time. Yeah, I've never seen this cover for it, so this has got to be like the latest edition or something like that. But I believe those cars came out in like the 80s, by the way. I didn't even know they still sold these things, but yeah. Wait, how much is it? 23. 23. 23 for Gatorade and Pepsi. It's okay. You got it. Okay. Thank you. No, it wouldn't be the first. Uh, I, I just was shook when you said 23 for. That's crazy. Thank God I got rich friends. 
Thank God. Oh, a receipt. Yeah. Thank you. Thank God for rich friends. $23. $23. What? How much? $9? Are you kidding me? That is ridiculous. It's like every time you go to a sports event, they just run your pockets dry. Like they really do want to rob you for every penny you got. Like you just jumped into a match with Scorpion. They see that wallet and they're like, get over here. I can't stand this, man. Enjoy the real reality on the outside. Just keep the virtual reality at the crib. If you're one of the people who thinks AI is scary, do not watch this video because this blows it out of the water. So a lot of people think we won't ever be able to create something smarter than a human. And there actually is a lot of evidence for this. We've created supercomputers with more mental capacity than a human, but the problem is they're huge. The human brain is estimated to have a capacity of over 2,000 terabytes. It just takes so many transistors to rival the power of the brain that it becomes really inefficient in terms of space and energy. But a new really creepy development might change that. So this is a rendering of an organoid, which is when you take human cells and have them populate a 3D scan. And recently they've been able to do this with brain cells. I don't know why they always use Pong for this stuff, but these are human brain cells in a Petri dish and they're playing Pong. What's crazy about this is these organoid brains learn way faster than AI. And so far they appear to be way better at solving complex problems just like the human brain. They've also been able to take these mini human brains and put them in rat brains and show that they can respond to the visual stimuli. What's scary about this is human brains are limited mostly by our head size. That's one of the things that sets us apart from other primates. But with an organoid brain, you could fill a whole room with brain matter and have it be one huge supercomputer. People are already asking questions about what happens if someone uses your brain matter for a supercomputer. Since it's a human brain, would it be conscious? Since it's your DNA, would it be you? Does it have rights? It's crazy. I swear, if somebody comes and messes with my brain when I'm gone, I'm going to haunt them so hard in their sleep, they are going to cry in their dreams. But yeah, this is actually a really scary concept when you think about humans being able to have this much power. Oh man, to be able to do things like this. When you get into Zodiac or what they call Zadok, yeah, you can find the Zodiac in every ancient religion. That's how powerful it is. And when you look at the word magi uh, from a biblical sense, it said astrologer. So we know that astrology is very, very, very important, especially when it comes to seasons and times and just, you know, predicting the future and stuff like that. Yes. Uh, I'm a water sign. So, you know, since I came through that chart, that natal chart, and I'm connected to the water like that, the water literally be calling me. I can eat all fruit, drink all fruit juice. I literally feel dehydrated until I go to the ocean. The ocean be calling me. You know, we have to start listening to these signs, but it's hard to listen to your element call you from the element that you truly arrive from if you're blocking, you know, yourself from being on that fifth dimensional place. You know, just channel is 5D, yeah, beyond 5D. the 5D. Yeah, okay. So it's hard to be beyond 5D and hear your element call, which you come from, if you blocking it and you shutting down your melanin neurotransmitters because you eating the wrong things and you drinking the wrong things and you putting the wrong substances in your body. But it's very important to work with your element that's a part of your natal chart and you get into your inner child and you start playing with these things you will notice that that's where your magic really lies you'll start seeing miracles and everything happen you'll be able to think clearer you with your higher self yeah, yeah. Going to the earth signs like earth signs them going to nature going to the park and just putting their feet inside the ground work with your element every single day and you will start noticing things about you and who you truly are that you never noticed before because you are being your true self and your true self is in your natal chart your true self is in the actual uh what we are called celestial uh pathway that you took to even be inside of your mother's womb i mean i just recently started studying astrology a little bit to be honest with you back when i was younger i didn't really care for it all that much but now that i'm a little bit older i'm actually a little interested and if you really look into it it's actually pretty cool stuff it might enlighten you a little bit so all right my good people that's gonna be a wrap for this one but i really hope you guys enjoyed this one and if you did don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and as usual you guys make sure to not be a stranger and let me know all your thoughts about this one down there in that comment section